Our next knee on chest position doesn't end in a submission. It can. It can go straight to a heel hook. We're actually not going to show that one for safety purposes, but you can use your imagination. Be very, very careful when you're training that. The next knee on chest escape that we're going to work, though, is going to be a simple push off. So we're here. Our opponent has a good knee on chest position, and if we take this arm, we want to go between our body and his foot. And then we want to go straight up underneath, and we want to touch the inside of his thigh. We're going to get real up close and personal with this one. We're here, we go up in between, right there. When we do this, we're just going to take both of our hands and push him straight back, this way. We can come up here. Now, if you want, from here you can go out into a couple of different leg locks, and that's fine. One more time. This one's really simple in nature. We're here, put it flat on our chest, all the way down our side. Up close and personal, all right through the middle. Both hands on his inner thigh. We're going to push him off and pull up with our arm. Here. Pulls him out. We can go straight to the leg locks. Other side. We're going to go here, inside his foot, up close and personal, right on the thigh. We're going to push, pull that leg out, straight into the foot lock. One more time. We're here, up on the inside, scooping, pushing. Right there. Different angle. This side. Try to watch my arm. Right here, all the way through. Behind, I'm in between his foot and my ribs. I reach up and through, grab the inner thigh, and push straight backwards. Pull that leg. Getting the foot lock. Other side. Reaching down. Up and under. Pulling. Straight into the foot lock. If you're really going to cinch this foot lock in, you're really going to have to throw your knees over and pinch his legs to isolate it. We're just showing the escape right now. You can go into your leg locks with all your counters, however you'd like. One more time. We're here, reaching under, pushing into the leg locks. We're here, up and under, into a toe hold. Really simple in nature. We're going to show it one time from this angle. Pay attention to my hips, how I'm giving myself a little room. All right, I'm going to keep my legs flat so that you can see my arms. We're here. I'm going to shrimp my hips out a little bit, okay? Here. That gives me some room. I go here, up and under. Taking him right over the top. Other side, last time. Again, normally I would have my legs up here, but so you can see I'm going to leave them flat. I shrimp out, give myself some room right here. As I go here, up and under, and I push. I go into the foot lock. That's a really, really useful, simple knee on chest position escape. Uh, you swim underneath it. There is another way to catch an inverted heel hook from there, but be very, very careful if you choose to practice that one.